uh, the politicians and, and NATO, like just how they speak about, um, you know, how we have to have action against them. And, uh, and Putin is, uh, you know, acting rashly. And I'm like, if, if we, we flipped it around and we were in their shoes and this, you know, America or say Canada was in, uh, was overthrown then America would, we would pop right in there and we'd be doing the same thing. Exactly. So, I mean, uh, and look, it's 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 not like American government's even doing this and trying to put a good government in. That would still be illegitimate <laughs> unless it was like North Korea. Then you kind of have a responsibility to do something. This is an elected government that's not even really oppressing people on a scale of one to ten. They're like a two. Our government's about like a three or four, trying to be a ten, and then they're trying to overthrow the whole country. And then Russia just takes its military bases and protects its area on its border, and the media acts like, you know, that we need to nuke Russia or something. It's, I mean, uh, you know, Obama drawing, you know, semi-drawing his red line again. I mean, Putin knows that, uh, you know, NATO, we, you know, we're militarily exhausted. He knows all those threats are, are paper tiger. I agree with you. I agree with you. I mean, it, and again, it's not that America or NATO are even bad. It's that the criminals running it are bad. The people that have hijacked our infrastructure are very, very bad. And no one can deny that. They are prosecuting a war against due process, liberty, and the free market while claiming the moral high ground. Great points, Gabe. I'm going to go to Colin and Captain America, Jason and Johnny here uh, in just a moment. Finally, somebody called in about my subject of Democrats race baiting. Wow. About to have a heart attack. <laughs> Kiss my hand. I can't believe somebody actually called in on a subject I threw out. Wanted to get your take on. Thank you. 800-259-9231. First time callers. But I think they did find the clip from Russia to Love where they describe how you have your two enemies kill or hurt each other and then you stroll in and take over. And the globalists are above the countries playing us off against each other, getting power out of the chaos and, and posing as the savior. It's elementary. Most war is not one side against the other. One side's good, the other side's bad. Usually both sides have issues, but if you're on one side being attacked, you've got to defend yourself. It generally is whoever attacks first is the bad guy. In jurisprudence, common sense, everybody knows that. And it's beyond that now. Where they just go, yeah, did you hear Russia attack Ukraine for no reason? Yeah, they invaded Georgia. And then it turned out in the case of Georgia, the West really did start that. Hands down, we were in the wrong. But it's not us. The establishment had done that. And then our media said that Russia had invaded. And then they attacked me saying I was a liar. I was like watching German news and, C and, and CNN International were admitting the truth. But on CNN domestically, they said Russia had attacked. That's how they lie to you, folks. Let's go to this from Russia with Love clip. Siamese fighting fish, fascinating creatures, brave but of the whole stupid. Yes, they're stupid. Except for the occasional one such as we have here, who lets the other two fight. While he waits. Waits until the survivor is so exhausted that he cannot defend himself. And then, like Spectre, he strikes. I find the parallel amusing. Our organization did not arrange for you to come over from the Russians just for amusement, number three. Come in, Kronstein. Sit down, number three, while we listen to what number five has devised for us. I hope Kronstein's efforts as director of planning will continue to be as successful as his chess. They will be. According to your instructions, I've planned for Spectre to steal from the Russians their new lector decoding machine. And by the way, folks, for the globalists literally live on yachts, petting cats, with helicopters on top, literally doing this. Ian Fleming was, you know, top MI6 guy. And, you know, he wrote all those books in the 40s and 50s where they're going to kill everybody on Earth with a bioweapon while they live on an Elysium space station to take over for eugenics. It's all just in your face, what's really being planned, what's being talked about, what's going on. And this is exactly what they do. The New World Order is Spectre. The New World Order is chaos. The New World Order is a bunch of corporate groups running around, playing us off against each other. Look at these 
time he's fighting fish so stupid. But not all are stupid. Let me tell you, I'm not stupid. I don't want to have a civil war with the police and military. The globalists are planning it. When they blow stuff up and start the war, let's not have it. Let's not do it. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a state? Army. Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even though sold by big-name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you're defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24-7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to GetSimplySafe.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. When the cleaners ruined some special clothing, all they could do was show us a sign that said they weren't responsible. But when they got the letter from one of our Legal Shield attorneys, he promptly gave us a check for $1,152. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Russia is now threatening to not pay central banks money back it owes if sanctions are put into place. Things are uh, escalating in some ways, de-escalating in others. Let's go to Colin in Michigan and then finally, Captain America. You're on the air, Colin. Go ahead. Thanks for taking my call today, Alex. Uh, I've been listening to your show daily, I'd say, for about a year now. First time caller. Uh, I want to touch on the mainstream news anchors and I saw on Drudge Report today MSNBC just can't figure out why their new baby face anchor can't pick up the young audience. 
So oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Ronan Faro or something? Ronan Farrow or whatever. He used to work for Hillary Clinton. Oh, my Let gosh. It was something. Hillary right. Clinton's darling. Ronan Faro, the young man only old people like. Young right. blue eyes fails to bring young viewers. A little bit here today. All right. If there's one thing that people my age cannot stand is when you have been proven to be trying to pull the wool over our eyes and con us. So you've lost people like me for life on MSNBC when you fired Dylan Radigan for telling the truth on air. And, I mean, they, they just trot out a new face and expect, oh, you know, he's 26, so all the 26-year-olds will start watching. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. Well, look at how they thought Piers Morgan would be great, a red coat. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, if they had hired, like, some guy with a... Uh, you know, a low-class accent or whatever, like, hey, mate, how you doing? You don't need those old guns. Kind of a long, long silver type. We might have turned our guns into him. You know, you're manly enough to not need those guns and let the government only have them. But because they got literally the snooty person that the Brits even hate, it shows their disconnect. I took one look at this twit when they put him on there last week and said he'll be a failure. But they're like, but Hillary likes them. And it's all how Hillary's a rock star and how sexy Hillary and Michelle Obama are. Do you think anyone in the world wants to hear about how sexy Hillary is all day? Of course everyone's tuning out of their... It, it, it's a joke. I mean, you know, Rachel Maddow. I mean, nobody wants to look at, a, you know, a skinny guy, all day, I mean, a, a woman, all day long. We're sick of it. I mean, look at this new girl they put on, Ronan Farrow. Looks just like Rachel Maddow. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it's just that, I mean, and then you got, and it's been known to come out in the news where you got people like Ezra Klein and Ed Schultz and Fox News as Juan Williams go have these private meetings with Obama to discuss their strategy and their talking points. And then, you know, you expect people to tune in like you guys are doing real journalism. It's just hysterical. I mean, and then, like, on another side of it, too, I used to be in full disclosure back in, I'd say, around... 2008, I was, you know, I voted for Obama because I got fooled, just like a lot of other people did my age. Well, yeah, people and, are going to want to vote for a mainline neocon over Obama because it's like, Bush is bad, Obama's good. Obama's bad, this guy's good. And, and it just gets worse and worse. I mean, and in my defense, too, what were my other options? I had John the Warmonger McCain, and in 2012, we had uh, the elitist scumbag Mitt Romney. So, I mean, but, you know, what do you pick from? And I wanted to give Obama the benefit of the doubt because I watched all of his, you know, debates and his campaigns, and he's, you know, he gave great speeches. The guy's really great with a prepared speech, you know, but, uh, I mean, he didn't follow through on so many things. He was just... It, That's right. He's a con. The whole thing's a con. Ed Schultz, though, looks like a force-fed hedgehog or something, like like demonic hedgehog trained to chew through the Constitution. I appreciate your call. Good points. Captain America, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can, Captain. All right. Uh, I want to start out by just saying I didn't give myself uh, the title Captain America. That was given to me by my friend Jay Leno many years ago because of my motorcycle. Awesome, brother. I met Jay, I met Jay at a hangout in Los Angeles where I used to live. I worked in the entertainment business. And Jay and I worked for the same company. I said, hey, Jay. He says, oh, you're Captain America. I says, no, no, it's, the bike is Captain. Oh, no, no, you are. <laughs> so uh, that's how I got the title. It's not something I came up with. I didn't want to call myself that. It was given to me by him and other Americans. I've been all over the United States with my bike. It's red, white, blue. You might have seen it in Austin with flags on the back. And uh, it really stands out. So I've been 40,000 miles across the United States. I'm retired. And all I do is tell people about InfoWars and about... Let uh, me ask you this. What do we search so we can show folks your bike on TV right now? You might be able to on uh, YouTube under Captain America Motorcycles. You might find it. Uh, other people have found it there, too. Awesome, brother. So tell me about Jay Leno or give me your take on stuff. Uh, Jay has been a good friend for years, uh, and I've asked him, uh, questions about political things and he doesn't like to talk about it in public but he did tell me he said you know I'm not exactly what people think I am he says they might think I'm a liberal they might think I'm a conservative but they don't know and he says I try to keep that silent well no no I mean I, I, but I happen to know I mean I'll just say it from his crew and other people that have been behind the stage he's a listener in fact I'm told Jay Leno listens at least once a week so Jay stop worrying bro come on the show America will love you Tell us how you got censored by Obama.
Tell us, uh, what else is going on? Captain America, you've been holding a while. I'm going to come back to you. Stay there. We're on the march.